up guys, my name is Soups and first of all, huge shout out to Geeks Gonna Geek for having me on to be able to talk to you guys, to talk about myself, to talk about the things we all love here, superheroes. So my name is Soups, I am 18 years young. I started creating content based on the things that I love, which is superheroes, around two years ago because growing up as a kid, you know, school was never my thing. So. I, I had the beautiful realization that we live in a day and age where you can make money, you can make a lifestyle doing anything, doing the things you love, no matter how silly it can be, whether it's, you know, talking about superheroes on a YouTube channel or whatever the case may be, you can make money, you can make a living doing what lights your soul on fire, no matter how silly it can be. And my passion for superheroes is something that I've had since day one. So I thought it was only a matter of time before I start creating content based on the things that I love, which is superheroes and translating that to be able to connect with other passionate fans such as you guys. What I love most about superheroes is that they are so relatable. I mean, sometimes these characters can seem like literal gods, yet they are so humans with the problems and conflicts that they face. I mean, a lot of people have Spider-Man as their favorite superhero because they, they relate to Spider-Man the most. Spider-Man has such human problems, such as bills, girl problems, you know, balancing being Spider-Man and being a full-time student. So many problems that we all share that are in common with these superheroes. And Spider-Man is only one character. Every single superhero has different problems that we could all relate to. And that's what I love about most about superheroes is their ability to relate to them and to see these characters overcome these problems. So like that, we can look at that and be inspired to overcome these, pro these same problems in the real world. So I've lived superheroes since the moment I took my first breath on this very earth. But what got me into superheroes? What sparked this love and passion for this genre? And really, it was that as a baby, you gravitate towards something, you crawl towards something. And when I was a baby, I gravitated towards the Spider-Man blankets, the Superman toys. And then I would also connect with these characters with television and movies because my grandfather would sit me down and we'd watch the old Christopher Reeve Superman movies, the old Michael Keaton Batman films. And then Boom, we all remember those Saturday morning cartoons where we would ambitiously wake up as excited kids ready to see, you know, an episode of that 90s animated Spider-Man series or the, the Batman animated series or the Superman animated series. As a kid, being born in the early 2000s, there were so many awesome superhero cartoons and I just grew up loving these characters on the small screen. And then as the Marvel movies started to come and as the DC movies started to come, my, my affinity and love for these characters grew even more as they made their entrance onto the big screen. Marvel or DC? This is probably the question I get the most. Now, when it comes to Marvel and DC, I cannot pick one. This is literally like asking a parent to pick what's their favorite child. You know, you have two kids. You love them both just as much, but you love them in different ways. Marvel does some things better than DC. DC does some things better than Marvel. So I can never be, I can never be able as a superhero fan be able to put Marvel over DC or DC over Marvel. I can just acknowledge that Marvel does some things better than DC and DC does some things better than Marvel and then just love them both in their own respects. My My favorite superhero is definitely Superman. This is also the first hero I grew to love as I grew up watching the old Christopher Reeve Superman movies. And oftentimes, our favorite superhero really comes down to the hero that we relate to the most. And Superman was that superhero for me. Growing up as a kid with the condition that I was born with, a condition that saw my arms, hands, and another side of my body grow to extremely large, unordinary levels, you know, I was ashamed of the way I looked. I was bullied in school. I felt like I was an alien, the same way that Clark felt like he was an alien growing up as a kid with the powers that he had. But there came a day where I viewed my curse as the power that it always was. The things that made me different as the powers that God blessed me with. And yeah, I was born with big hands, but in my head, God blessed me with big hands so like that I can lend the biggest helping hand to those people out there that are ashamed of the things that make them different. So that's why Superman's my favorite superhero, because there came a day where Clark realized that the things that made him different, the powers he was blessed with, are a gift. A gift that he was blessed with in order to become the greatest superhero of all time. And in my head, in the real world, the things that make us different are the gifts that we were given to become the greatest versions of ourselves.
Now when it comes to my favorite superhero movie of all time, it is definitely Avengers Endgame. I'm, I'm pretty sure that TLC can come and make a Strange Addictions episode about me because I was addicted to going to see Avengers Endgame as I saw it in theaters 18 times, three times on a cruise. So that just goes to show how much I loved this movie and how much I love going to see it. And you know, at the time, 18 times sounds a lot going to see it in theaters, but ultimately, I don't regret one second of it because ultimately this was a movie that you can watch in theaters and have it be a rock concert and then at home it's a completely different experience so going to going to that movie theater and watching a movie that concluded the story of the mcu so perfectly giving us so many amazing moments that we've waited years for in such an amazing way you know having seeing the fans react the way they did i don't regret one second of going to watch avengers Endgame, my favorite superhero movie of all time 18 times Now, if I could have one superpower, it would definitely be super speed. I feel like super speed checks all of the boxes because you have traversal, you also have combat because if you're running super fast and then you hit something, that also generates a lot of force. So technically you have super strength at the same time. So again, super speed, it covers traversal, you can dodge uh, other people's attacks, you can do things very sneaky and no one will notice. So definitely super speed is the power I would definitely choose if I had the ability to choose one superpower to have. So we talked about my favorite superhero of all time, now let's talk about my favorite villain of all time. My favorite villain isn't such an obvious choice, my favorite villain of all time is Magneto. Magneto is such a deep, deep character. His origin story takes place during the Holocaust, his parents were killed during the Holocaust, and oh my gosh, Magneto is one of the most powerful villains of all time, and I love him so much because he, is, he has so many layers. To his character he's not just one of those villains where it's just like oh i want to take over the world nah magneto has a reason behind everything he does and he, his motivations are so understandable and so relatable when you look at this villain and really look at his character before i go huge shout out to geeks gonna geek Thank you guys so much for having me on. It was truly an honor to be able to come on here and talk about myself and the things that light my soul on fire every single day, superheroes. Now, if you guys want to stay updated to anything superhero related, make sure to follow me on Instagram, underscore soups, underscore, on YouTube, soups, and on TikTok, soups, underscore, where I continue to aim to entertain, inform, and inspire using the topic of discussion, as always, which is superheroes. Now, if there's one thing I want to leave you guys on today, it's that don't just go out there and love superheroes. Go out there and become your own superheroes. These characters were created for us to learn on how these characters make mistakes, on how they come back from their mistakes, on how they overcome their problems that the majority of that the majority of us have. So with that being said, there's we only have one life. And every single one of us have something different we can bring to the table. We are all different. And with that being said, we all have different gifts, different things we can bring to the table that no one else can bring. And we have a responsibility to use what we have to make a difference in this world, to make other people's lives better. So go out there and be a hero for the people around you. Make an impact in other people's lives because who are we if we don't leave this world better than we found it? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope look forward to seeing you guys on my other streaming platforms. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I love you 3000.